Friday morning, of course, I wake up uh, and I see this in my feed from Sal over at what's going on mm-hmm. with shipping. Iran has seized the MSC, that is uh, Aries, outbound from UAE to India. She is Madeira International Registry and owned through Zodiac Maritime, a part of Ofer Global, shared by Al Ofer, yep. hence the targeting by the IRGC. This is similar to the Houthi capture of the MV Galaxy leader in November. So he's got some maps as to where this happens. Sal is very technical. But Sal really cares about it from literally a logistical perspective. And I think yeah, he used to be in the Navy and the Coast Guard. Right. So what you know, there's the register of and who's insuring the boat. All right. AIS or whatever they call that. Right. Um yeah, you're talking the the GIS, geospatial. Yes. All right. So mm, sure. I said this is another escalation in sales on the case. And he actually put out a video on his What's Going On with Shipping channel. Uh, you can check that out. It's about a 15 minute video about shipping under attack. Now, I disagree with some of his assessments because he is speaking on behalf of kind of the military and the intel community. Um, he is, you know, acting like like Iran is the aggressor here, and that they're that this is completely unprovoked, and we know that that's not the case. More information about it. Loki online says the MSC Aries ship, which appears to have been seized today near the Strait of Hormuz, is owned by Zodiac Maritime. So what? Why does that matter? It's well documented fact that Zodiac Maritime has a history of transporting Israeli elite units across the region to carry out assassinations in the UAE and Iran. On top of the fact that that they are an Israeli register or an Israeli owned ship. There you go. Zodiac Maritime is owned by billionaire Ofer family, Israeli Ofer family. And despite its history as a front for Israeli Intel being covered by both the times and mint press, it has remained a British registered company. Amazingly enough. All right. And there is, by the way, automatic identification. Ah, gotcha. Okay. GIS is the mapping. Yeah, Ofer ships uh, took most yeah, agents mean, to Iran. This was in 2011. AIS tracking or whatever. They were. Um, 2011, right. you say? That was in 2011. Yep. So they've been doing this a while. That's low key over at Mid Press. So now. Not just the Houthis. I would now, like to remind people that have been doing this, a whole group of people. Right. Uh, Iran Iran released video of them seizing the ship. So here's 30 seconds of that. Yep. Boarding and seizing the ship. Yep. This is the nice lead into boats. Kinda. Sorta. Hey, things up, boat. Hey, things up. Here they come. Here they come. Ah! They're going down the rope. There's one. Here comes another one. Yep. So that's them boarding the ship. Shout out to Hotspot for the video. I know that they probably yanked that from somebody, but they do good work. Follow Hotspot at Hotspot Hotspot. Give them a follow over on Twitter, over on Instagram, over on... um, TikTok, those guys too. So nice, they named it twice. As if we didn't have enough snark already today, our friend, Laura Mm -hmm. K, and this is the one that might get us yanked, Iran plotting unprovoked attack on a country that bombed its embassy. Unprovoked, yeah. (laughs) This would be... Substack newsletter near you. This would be such a huge act of aggression. Normal Island News... Laura Kay. There's outrage in the West that Iran might be planning to an unprovoked attack after Israel uh, against Israel after the IDF bombed its consulate building in Damascus on April 1st, killing two generals and five soldiers. Tensions have been high since Iran refused to apologize for overreacting to Israel's April Fool's prank. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. Yeah outrageously suggested Israel must be punished for what was basically an elaborate joke. 
clearly he's aware They've been of been such a bad boy. Clearly he's they unaware the US version of international law states it's illegal to punish Israel for breaking international law. Thankfully the US is taking yeah. no nonsense. Right to jail. Yep. Right to jail. Acting US President Anthony Blinken explained. APAC told mm -hmm. me to say the revenge attack that has not happened is an unwarranted escalation from Iran that risks destabilizing the region. <laughs> mm, yep. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said, the moment the fighting stops, my political career is over and I'm probably going to jail. Therefore, the best thing I can do is start a war with Iran to stop Iran from starting a war with us. Obviously, war with Iran would be the yep. sensible option because it should keep Benjamin Netanyahu's political career alive at the small cost of millions of innocent lives and the collapse of the global economy. What could go wrong? Yeah, he just throws a dart at the wall of brown people to see which ones he decides to fight this week. No, it's all of them. Yeah. A spokesperson um, for BlackRock yeah. said, quote, Worldwide economic collapse would present us with lots of unique and interesting business opportunities, unquote. Anyone who doesn't want BlackRock to have unique and interesting business opportunities is clearly an extremist. I mean, anyone who disagrees with you is an extremist. If we what can even... save the banks, if then we can save the world. Right? Yeah. Iran insists that it's looking for a political alternative to a military response, but I'm told it mocked up images of a missile strike against Haifa International Airport. The Vienna Convention of 1969 states nations must not share memes that scare Israel on social media, but it says nothing about attacking embassies, so we all know who the real aggressor is. Yeah. Israel, the innocent victim, says it's worried Iran might not attack, but if it doesn't, Israel will probably bomb another five countries in the region because it doesn't know what to do with all the bombs America keeps giving it. The last thing Israel would want is for its neighbors to destabilize the region by objecting to being bombed, but that's exactly what's been happening. Some have even showed footage of Israel bombing aid workers on social media and aggressively pleaded, please stop doing this. It seems everyone yeah, that's is... That's misinformation. Right? That didn't, that didn't happen. Nope. That totally Me didn't happen. Memory hold. It seems everyone's objecting mm -hmm. to Israel's proportionate extermination of the Palestinian people and its diplomatic missile strikes against its neighbors. Thankfully, Germany is showing genocidal solidarity and banning anyone who talks about Israel's blood rage from entering its country. I understand it's even considering the possibility of putting Israel's critics into concentration camps to absolve itself of guilt over the last time it did that sort of thing. Holy shit. Allegedly, we talked about that allegedly, allegedly. on INA News. It's good to know now, uh, whatever happens know. next, Germany will be on the right side of a world war for a change. <laughs> oh, God. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, Laura, yep. hey, normal island news. The best satirist out there going, and it's not even close. Adore her. She's the best. Seriously, here's what the Cradle reported on this story because I figured we should get kind of a lefty serious perspective. Okay, again, we know that Israeli ships have been reportedly using a sea to land car uh, corridor that crosses several Gulf countries to bypass the trade damage done by the Yemeni attacks in the Red Sea. Huh. So what's going on here? What? What's going on? Israel's semi-official Tasnim news agencies, oh, Iran, sorry, semi-official Tasnim news, news agency, reported on Saturday that the IRGC Navy seized an Israeli-linked cargo ship in the Persian Gulf region. Earlier, the AP reported that a regional defense official shared with them a video of the attack, that's the one we showed, which targeted the Portuguese-flagged MSC Ares, a container ship owned by the Israeli billionaire AL officers. Zodiac Group. The embassy Ares had been last located off Dubai, heading toward the Strait of Hormuz on Friday, and had turned off its tracking data, a practice common for Israeli ships in the region. Huh. I wonder why. I wonder why. Yep. Wait, Israeli ships have been targeted in, in the, the Gulf region? What? 
What? Why? Mm. Why? 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 Right? Since November, the, Why? Why? the Ansarallah-led Yemeni armed forces, correct, not Houthi, but Ansarallah-led, um, have targeted Israeli linked ships in the Red Sea in response to Israel's genocide in Gaza. <laughs> Whoa, what happened there? Uh, something popped up. Mm. Hey, 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 go back. Close that. How do I close that? Oh, there we go. No. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. We're good. All right. So, <clears throat> Israeli ships in the region. Since November, the Antaral led Yemeni armed forces have targeted. Israeli linked ships in the Red Sea in response to the genocide in Gaza. Iran and Yemen are close allies. Yes. Friday's ship seizure had previously been reported by the British military's UK maritime trade operations. The report said only that a ship was being seized by regional authorities in the Gulf of Oman at the Emirati port city of Fujara. Sorry, I'm terrible with the name. Seizure comes as fears grow in Israel and the U.S. over Iran's retaliation for the bombing of the Iranian consulate in Damascus, Syria. Israel killed a top IRGC commander and several others in the strike. As we said, the Strait of Hormuz is a narrow channel in the Persian Gulf through which a fifth of all oil passes. Very important. Ujara, the UAE, on the UAE's eastern coast of the Gulf of Oman, is the, main, is the region's main port. The UAE plays a critical role in U.S. and Israeli plans to establish the India-Middle East-Europe economic corridors, a ship-to-rail transit network that could compete with China's Belt and Road project to ship goods from Asia to Europe. Yep. I wonder mm -hmm. if there's another uh, canal called like the Ben Gurion Canal involved with this somehow as well. If they're planning on... Yeah, at least partially. Iranian targeting of commercial ships in the Strait of Hormuz and the Gulf of Oman could disrupt the establishment of the IMEC project. And I kind of hope it does, honestly, because we have no business there. Yep. We have no business there. This is parasitic capitalism, number one. Well, we have, we have lots of business there. Right. But business. We got business. You know, we got business. Right. Right. Um, Lots of business. What was on the ship? I don't know what was on the ship. It was just a container vessel. I don't. I don't think that there was anything specific. They they might have targeted it for what was on the ship, but I don't know if they know. Um. Yeah, just mur burn money. What did she say to to keep warm? That's right. Just burn cash. That's all. Um. 